Welcome back everyone to Wudang Wei, the end of the first week of our Back to Basics series. This week all the course material has been going over all of our warm up basics. So I hope each one of those videos has been really clear from Wednesday to Friday, kind of these few different basics that we've been going through. Um, if you haven't had a chance to see those, please do go back and check those out because today we're going to be putting them all together into one video, collecting the practices, making a review and a follow along for you to do wherever you are. For these warm up routines, you really want to just start from the ground up. We're going to start by warming up all the joints. So the first thing we're going to do, interlace the fingers, rotate the wrists. We can do that while we do the ankles. Just kind of pointing the toe in the ground and rotating the ankle outward. Uh, we can kind of combine these into two, you know, just relaxing the wrists out in different ways. Very soft. Don't put pressure behind it really. Don't put too much weight on it. You can switch legs, do the right a few times. Just nice and easy. Something that we do early morning, just kind of waking up the joints. You can go for a brisk walk. If you have access to a mountain next door to where you live, you can go walk up there. That's a very good warm up. Uh, today though, I'm going to bring the mountain to you. So if you're doing this at home, also fine. Just kind of make sure everything's relaxed, everything's soft, especially all the joints, make sure they're all warmed up before we get into the bigger movements. Okay. So you've kind of warmed up the wrists, kind of shake out a little bit, make sure everything's nice and relaxed. And then we're going to start working up to the knees. Okay. Second thing we're going to do these small circular squats. Okay. So we're going to put the hands on the knees and kind of slightly bend. And then we're going to circle as we go down. So left kind of drop the knees out to the left and around, keeping the knees together, straightening up and then all down to the right, coming back up, whatever level you can sink down to straight down and back up pointing forward with the head kind of stretching the back out and pushing the legs back and then we're going to repeat so one turn two opposite direction three down okay take it nice and controlled don't go too fast one two three just kind of keep repeating one two, three. And I'll probably go back and forth between English and Chinese. Eat. Oh. That. When you come up, always straightening completely, extending the back, taking deep breaths. One. Oh. That. Whatever level you can go down to, trying to keep your heels flat. If it's small, eat. That's okay too. Just keep your knees together. Oh. Down. Eat. Down, relax. Oh, down, relax. Down, down, and push back. And one more. Eat. Oh. Down. And relax, kind of hanging down, reaching for the ground. Okay. Come up nice and relaxed. Shake your legs out again. Okay. So ankles and wrists to the knees. Now to the hips. We're going to do very, very light and easy. We're going to just pick the left leg up. Keep balance. Level ground is really nice. If you're inside, again, remember, you can always have a hand on something if stability is difficult but try to keep it very slow. Don't do fast motions. We're just going to pick the knee up crossed, roll around, drop down. All circle, that, so if you have a hand soft, relax, we'll kind of have something to aim for. No, down control, feet. Make sure if you can keep the foot from touching, that's always nice. So you can maintain balance. Go. Sit. Oh. Oh. That. Sit. Keep my toes relaxed. Feel. Feet. Ha. Go. And sit. Okay. Relax that hip a little bit. Always kind of like 
I always point a place to look at. Uh, always pick a place to look at so you can stare there. Kind of keep your balance. Uh, make sure you're not distracted too much. Don't hold your breath. You know, a little bit difficult talking sometimes. Bear with me. And we take the right. Same thing. Cross as we come up. That. Then, ugh. remember the balance is in the bent leg, the, the, the left leg right now for me. Oh. No. See. Ah. Go. Lifting the knee. Uh. Outside. Inside. Outside. Oh. Down. Uh. Oh. Yeah. See. Ah. Go. Uh. Yeah. And nice and relax. Should get like a nice hip flexor warm up in the front here. So that'll just work into the next thing we're going to do. Back bends. Hands on the lower back, right over the kidneys. Okay. Feet shoulder width apart. And then we're gonna do rolls. So kind of like the way I always explain this is that it's like reverse hula hoop. So if you had a hula hoop that was locked in space and instead of you turning and it going around you, the circle's here and you're trying to go around staying stuck to the hula hoop. Like a really funny visualization, but one way to think about it, to just kind of make sure that your center of gravity stays in the center. So when you go, you're actually side leaning then forward leaning, but my weight is still between my heels, okay? Then I get to this side and behind, but I'm extending my back, my weight is still on my heels, okay? So you're doing this rotation, three, and just really big, relaxed circles. Four, four, five. Really nice to exhale on the front, no. Inhale in the back. Chi. That way it keeps you going slow. Ah. Nice lower back relaxed circle. Go. And uh. when you come around number 10, then we just change directions. One. And doing the opposite. The sides are also important. Keep the feet flat. Oh. And make sure you're going out to the side all the way around. Three. Relax. Uh, pressing your hands forward. So that kind of gives you a little bit of a balancing point. Oh. You. Yep. Timing your breath. Take it nice and slow. Deep. Up. Uh, Yo. Uh. Okay. And kind of relax and shake your hands down. Make sure your hands are relaxed too. If you're doing a lot of tension in the shoulders, open the chest while you do that. Make sure everything's relaxed. Get the blood moving again. Okay. Then we're kind of moving up from there. Uh, now we've kind of got the lower body really stable and loose, nice and relaxed around the hip and the waist. Uh, remember, we're going to use this a lot, so keep the core engaged when you can. Now we're going to interlace the fingers again and stretch straight up and connect the waist to the upper body going through the back and chest, okay? So here we're gonna open. We can just press straight up. Kind of opening, you can do a couple presses, relaxing the neck, keeping the shoulders open. Oh. And then what we wanna do here is we're gonna turn to either side. I'm gonna turn to my left. You can mirror or do the same. And when we turn to the side, try to keep the left foot, the way you're turning, keep that foot flat. The other leg, point the toes in the ground and kind of press the leg, twisting. And then look back up. And relax. Keep the hands pressed high. Uh, we'll have this in Baduan Jin sets sometimes. And then you press the left foot now, turning to the right. Twisting as much as you can. And looking up. Then bring the head down and then put the foot down as you turn back. 
So three, pressing the back foot straight on the toes, twisting the body. You can just twist keeping it level, or you can also tilt the head back and look up. And go, put the head down, relax, and four. Pressing, twisting, high. And four, five. Through. Don't look directly at the sun if you can avoid it. Still. Feet, swing sides, pressing up. Ah, uh, twisting. If you can, kind of exhale to the side. So you exhale as you're looking. And inhale as you come back to the middle. Go. And exhale as you look over the left side. Hands straight up, pressing. Good. Come back. One more inhale. And one more exhale. So then come back and open the hands, kind of relaxing down. Let the shoulders drop. Let the hands get soft again. And the back soft. Oh, and kind of relax, shake out a little bit. You'll feel like a rush of blood back down to the hands. It's a really common move that we do in the Badwan Jin set to kind of get started. Uh, sometimes that move is called like double hands lifting the heaven. There are a lot of translations of that version of that, but a really nice warm up to get everything active. Okay? Then we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this down, then we're gonna go ahead and get into some shoulders. Now that's all nice and soft, so you can do some shoulder rolls, relax. Hmm. Like rolling to the back. Uh, then we can do our right arm, kind of rotating to the side, turning the body into it. Down going forward, up going back. Just a big back stroke, relax. You can kind of make that a little bit smoother. Very nice and smooth. Starting to pay attention to your breath more. It's always nice if you have a nice quiet place to go and practice. Kind of get you in the space a little bit more. Relax that shoulder. Put the right behind your back. Turn to the right and swing the left. Front and back. So down forward, up back. Just kind of use your back foot to pivot on to give you a little bit of a swing. So relax through this motion. Very nice. Kind of make it a little bit more continuous. Very nice and relaxed. Kind of shake that out as well. We're going to try the double ones. You can follow this along as well. Um, for this one, we just want to take both sides, press the arms up, turn to the left. And then what we're going to do is I'll follow, I'll mirror just to make it a little easier. What we're going to do is we're going to drop to the front, then turn the body and raise while looking behind. So turning to your left. Twist. Turning to your right, drop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a little smooth. Beat. Oh. Relax. Then we'll turn to the opposite side. Same thing. 
So turn to the right, press the hand straight up. Then we're gonna turn to the front and drop the hands. Turn to the side, one. Lifting up, kind of opening the chest. Drop, two. Raise. You're pivoting on your left foot as you go to the right. So three. Nice and controlled. Passing the waist, four at the same time, and passing above you at the same time. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, and we'll move with eight. Oh. That. Good. Oh. Two. Three. Four. Two. Three. And relax. And kind of shake out shoulders one more time, a little rolling after that. We're losing the sun a little bit, but it's still pretty warm out. Hopefully now you're very warm anyway. Okay. Last thing, so each kind of practice warms up the next joint that you're going to. So now that you've been rolling the shoulders, you're kind of getting the neck loosened up, getting that kind of active. That way when you're stretching it, you're not doing it too cold. Okay, so last thing, we're just gonna match our breathing to the movement. Put your hands behind your back if it helps, but just kind of relax them anyway as comfortable. Uh, just kind of get rid of some pressure. Then we're gonna tip the head and do roll circles to the back. And coming around and through. So two, exhale. Coming around to the front, hanging the head, using the weight of the head to stretch the neck. So you're not going too fast. On three, exhale. Inhale. Four. Nice and soft. If your inhale or exhale is longer or shorter, that's fine. Just whatever you feel comfortable with. As long as you're not holding your breath as you go back. Five, your exhale. When you go to the back, that's the most important. Now hang in front and then change directions. Go back to the other way. One hang, exhale. Then duck your chin, hang in front too. Two. Just get your breathing kind of time with each thing. Three. Four. And just kind of soft, relax. Oh, shake everything back out again. And that is our first basic warm up. So now we're going to actually go back. Everything should be nice and warm. Hope you got some heat back in the hands. Uh, your joints are all nice and stable, kind of shaked out and loose. Uh, so now we're going to go into the next video where we went through some stances. So we're just going to go right back to the ground and work right back up a second time. Okay. So then we're going to go into gombu or our bow stance. So we drop down, front leg straight. Uh, back leg pointed Okay, what I mean by straight is I mean this angle right here should be 90 degrees you Don't need to drop down too low and lose your knee. I hope you can see that on the camera But you actually want to have your back leg straight at the knee and this one straight with the knee to the hips flat So level is what I mean and straight on the back. Okay, so hands on the back and you're going to relax one two three four five six seven eight Nine, 10, pivot up on the toes. So the heel is off the ground and the leg is still straight at the knee. Then you can turn all the way. So remember stretching down. The last step, if you're comfortable, you can raise the hands and lean back a little. Okay, when we come up, remember lean forward, bring the back leg up, 
Then we can come up a little bit more relaxed. Shake out one more time real quickly, changing sides. Then into your right leg, turning to the right, left leg straight, sinking down. Remember stretching down, not forward. We're not trying to get the knee press, we're trying to get the waist and the hips to drop. So turning backwards, eat, oh, that, uh, oh, yeah, chi, that, yo. So twisting a little more, bringing the back toe up, heel off the ground, back leg straight, eat, oh, that, uh, oh, yeah, chi, that, yo. So still keeping that posture, hands stretching up. And relax, lean forward and come up. Okay, and then shake out legs one more time real quick. Make sure nice and loose. Then our horse stance, squat. So we're going to open our stance, feet not completely open, maybe 45 or straight is okay. Bend at the knees down to 90 degrees, hands on the inside of the knees, and then we're just gonna, first we can lean forward. Lean forward is gonna take your weight off the hips so you can stretch more. When we get into later videos next week, we're gonna be going over mabu, we're gonna be sitting back more. Right now we're worried about stretching. So we're just gonna take the weight off by leaning forward, pressing the hips open by pressing the knees, okay? Have that kind of warmed up a little bit. Then we can take our hands, put them on the knees themselves, and start twisting. So twisting to the left, pressing the right arm shoulder straight, and drop. Oh, and pressing at the right, or the sorry, the left shoulder, pressing the left arm straight, looking over the right shoulder. That twisting that way. So dropping the head, inhale, twisting over the right, exhale. Oh. So drop up. E, drop up, pressing the back arm. Up. Yo. And through. And come up and bring it over. Okay. Nice and relaxed again. Uh, if you feel a little bit tired right here, do a couple squats, kind of just sink down, pressing the legs. Uh, relax. Coming back up, kind of relaxing the waist too. Do a couple things periodically. You can always revisit the ones from the first part to kind of make sure things are still loose. Especially if you feel too tired, something like that, just take your time, okay? So you've done mobble, back and side to side, relax a little bit. Then we're gonna get into the forward bends. So I'll guide you through these. I hope you can hear all the little details. If something's not clear, please go back and check some of those other videos as well, okay? Next thing, keep your feet about the mobble position. But instead of having the feet open, if you did before, straighten them back up and then pivot at the waist, drop straight down. Right now, you can just keep a leg straight, kind of putting your weight back, extending your back and hang. Breathing deeply. If you can reach your hands out in front of you and place them there, then kind of extending your back and hanging your neck. Just relax downward. If you start slipping out, just bring your feet back in. Okay. Once you do that, then you're going to hold your own elbow and hang. So you can actually look straight behind you. So I'm going to be coming back up a lot to talk so you can see clearly, but you can hang to where you're basically in this position, looking backwards. So try to keep your back straight. A lot of times we try to go low in the beginning and we try to do this and just kind of do hanging. Uh, that's not really gonna be any good improvement. You really want to, from here, if you go down like this, then work on extending the back out 
so you can actually reach out farther. Okay, and then hit. Okay, and we can kind of try to aim for the elbows to touch the ground. If the elbows do touch the ground, you bring your feet closer, try to touch again. Okay, a little bit of a challenge. So hanging down, relax. Make sure there's no grass that's going to stab you in the eye before you start going. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we're going to hang. We're going to do side to side twists. Side to side twists, one hand, opposite foot, twist open. Okay, so hanging position. And then to the left, grabbing the left foot with your right hand. So eat, pull over. Oh, change sides. Pull over. Huh? Pull over, dropping the elbow to the ground, looking at the up hand. Ugh. Changing sides, keeping legs straight. Whoa. No. Yeah. Ah. Yo. And flip ten times. Ten times the set is always nice. And relax. When you come up, bend your knees and then come straight up is a little bit easier. Okay? Then bring your legs in and shake out. If you're going for a certain count, I'm going to keep going to tens because it's just a nice round number. But if you're doing a little bit less or you're doing a little bit more, um, just kind of gauge yourself. Don't push your limit too much, but do put a little bit of a challenge in. These should be a little bit tough, a little bit working up a sweat, getting warm, getting blood moving, but not so much to where you're getting exhausted or getting kind of unstable. So take your time at first, maybe watch this video, then follow through on the second time, okay? But right now we've gone through the ground we've gone through our feet knees hips and waist again so now we're just going to do a little bit of a stability one just to take a moment get our breath get back to center okay so if you have place it's gonna be much more level than this you don't have to stamp the ground to get not poked in the eye by some grass but yeah pick a spot that you have some good balance again if you need a wall or something for support that's always really nice to have nearby okay but right now i'm going to find my spot then we're going to Balance on one leg for a moment. Uh, starting with either one, I'm gonna start with my left. As always, it's just an easy routine to get into. I'm gonna lift at the knee as high as you can, then reach down to it, hold, and then stand straight up, okay? So we're just gonna hold this just for balance, just focus on deep breathing. There's a little bit of a squat, just getting some pressure in the leg, getting some balance in your right planted leg, and just kind of holding this posture, trying to get the knee close to the shoulder looking at one place a little bit away from you on the ground is nice something that doesn't move just to keep your focus on something solid okay keep your breathing nice and slow and just kind of relax if you ever feel any adjustments make it really nice and slow bend your knee slowly and stand back up sucking the hip in even closer every once in a while and just working on this slow practice Like I said before, we'll have this in a lot of crane qigongs, a lot of single leg stances. Um, it's just gonna be really useful for you to have a slow reaction so we can get into some of these postures. You have a little bit of a feeling for standing here, <laughs> okay? Nice and easy. Sometimes pulling the hip and the foot closer into the body. And then when you're done, trying to control set down, okay? Shake out both legs. Right leg is always gonna be a little bit worked up because you're doing balance so i say it's a left leg stretch but you're like oh my right leg's tired so take a moment check that out as well uh, because the stabilizers just take a little bit of time to get cooled down okay then once we have one side done we're going to switch over and do the other side whichever one you're doing again first things first find a good flat spot uh, bring your leg just barely off the ground okay the first thing just check balance you don't need to try to lift your leg, leg off right off the beginning and lose your balance and just get frustrated. Nice to kind of like hold off the ground, make sure you have a soft reaction once again. Okay, then we're going to pick up from the knee, 
okay? Relaxing the foot, then reach down to it. So if it's the right leg, we're gonna hug with the right arm and grab with the left hand and then stand up straight. Again, with that spot, you're gonna be nice and balanced, hugging the shoulder, hugging the knee close to the shoulder, and just taking your time with your breath and relax. Stand up as tall as you can, holding the leg close to the body. Every once in a while, you know, reach down, grab again, then back up straight. Again, same, focused on that one spot. It's kind of like a thousand mile stare in one direction, okay? Something that's stable, something that's not gonna distract you. And again, just pay attention to the breath. Slow reactions in the knee. Turning and moving around a little bit is fine. Getting a little bit of a stretch. A lot of balance. Now when you're done, nice and soft, relax down. And just go through the waist. Always nice to reset. Okay. So we've got the hip flexors warmed up, gone through the back. Legs are nice and warm and energized, kind of soft, but stable. Okay. Last thing, a little bit of a back bend. Nice soft exercise. Sometimes we have these very big chest opening bridge type techniques, especially if you've been in Wudong, you know what I'm talking about. But doing them at home because we can't really guide you. We can't make sure you're in a straight line. Really nice just to keep it simple, keep it easy that you can do on your own. So you're not gonna overstress yourself or do something that's a little bit too advanced too early. And even if you are able to do a bridge, you are able to do some of these practices, it's still a good idea to kind of go slowly and warm up step by step, okay? So last thing we're gonna do for this set, we're gonna take our hands once again on the lower back, and then we're gonna start with just these slow bends straight backwards, okay? So don't try to peek over your shoulder. Try to look straight back, with feet shoulder width apart, and then from the place where your hands are pressed, sink back. Come up softly, inhale. And once again, anything that's a stretch is an exhale. Always the easiest way to think of it. You're gonna go back, you're gonna exhale slowly. And inhale, smooth. Sometimes you come up, you can kind of bend forward, relax. That way you're completely reset. For number three. And back up. Go as long as you can. If you need to come up a little earlier, that's okay. Then bring the hands slightly up, just a little bit. So we're going from like lower back, a little bit to middle back, thoracic. And the same thing. One. And up. So we're not trying to go too far back. We're just trying to bend at the place our hand's at. So here, two. And up. Trying to keep the lower body stable, even knees slightly bent. And three. Okay, relax, and then we're gonna go up one more time, just a little bit, getting the upper back, and same thing, one. All right, even a smaller bend, nice and fine. Oh. And back. Yeah. Well, notice we're not really going for a real super big bridge. We're not like pressing the hips forward and doing all this yet. That'll be later. Um, don't have to go too crazy. Just a nice spine, stable, relax. Okay. And kind of shake out. And that is the complete second part. Now for part three, it might be a little bit fresh from yesterday, the dragon coiling little technique thing we went over, but hopefully it's still clear. Now it's a really good chance to go through it because you've already done all the other warm ups. So you should feel very loose, a little bit stable in the lower body, nice and relaxed at the waist. And we've had a little bit of feeling of each one of these techniques. So the good thing I really like about this, this little styled move 
is that you're getting a little bit of everything. You're getting a little bit of stance work, you're getting a lot of waist rotation, you're getting some shoulder mobility, and you're also focusing a lot on stability because of the trick of having something in your hand or just focusing on keeping your hand flat even because that's gonna give you a target, something to keep your pace, keep you slow, and keep the movement nice and smooth. So again, we're just gonna go over this movement. If you haven't had a chance to see it, do check out yesterday's video. This one's got a lot, a little bit of details, okay? So we're just gonna break it down real quickly. So first thing, kind of left hand behind the back, or either way, opposite hand out. So right hand out, and we're gonna start into a forward stance. We're gonna bend back, putting the hand behind, and straight out. And then we're going to bend first we can start a little bit high and just kind of bend at the elbow and just kind of relax so you've got the body going through the motion two bend through nice and short motions then three and bend at the elbow still nice and soft get a little bit of a back bend but not too bad then oh, five then looking at the hand the whole way Exhale through and six. Kind of starting to straighten the hand out. Make sure you're not slipping out of your spot. And seven, a little bit lower. Arm almost all the way straight. Eight, then lean forward, look back, come around low eight or some number that we're on nine and and now we're full low relax okay and then we just put that hand behind the back and the other one comes out the hand behind the back trick is just going to keep you so when you go through the motion you're kind of like pushing the back of your hand through so it gives you like a direct line of pushing the hips forward just like we did with the rotations okay so it's a nice little safety measure if you're just kind of hanging the arm out there sometimes you won't really open the chest because you have that kind of uh, blocked right here so hand on the back hand out through and behind straight then just a little bit bend through kind of warming up softly Oh, number two, bending at the elbow, watching the hand, keeping the palm up, facing all the time. Number three, kind of sinking through. Four, a little bit longer. Five, and looking back. Then six. Then pressing through, following it with your eyes. Number two, inhale before, weight right in the center, and then exhale back for number six. And then number seven. Nice and soft. Like I said, stable plot is really nice. Number eight, kind of working lower each time. Number nine and number ten. Full relax. Okay. Then relax, kind of coming back up. Okay. Nice and soft. And that is going to wrap up the whole practice for today, for this week, everything put together. I hope all those details have been very clear and easy to follow along with. Um, I hope you can revisit this video and keep working on it. Moving into the next material over the next few weeks, we're going to be going over more stances and different routines, but this is something you can always keep. Even if you're just using a few pieces of it every morning or before each practice, try out a few different things, see what limitations you have in mobility or your flexibility, and we can start to tackle those issues moving forward into the other practices as well. So everything can be used together. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I hope to see you next week. We'll see you then. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit subscribe, check out all the information underneath. There you can navigate to the Ways of Wudam Patreon account. 
And by becoming a Patreon, you can get access to all the main channel resources around martial arts, Taoist philosophy, even Chinese music, and group classes, live streams, one-on-one -on -one courses, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So I hope you'll go check that out, and I hope to see you there. Once more, thank you for all your support. We'll see you in the next video.